Pardon? Put it down. I can't record? Put it down. Put it down. Hey, hey, whoa. Just listen. Why are you being so disrespectful? Hey, yo, yo, hey, you do yourself. I'm talking to this one. What happened? James Lance. That's students. You have your ID? Right there. I do. Listen to me. Constable Crystal from the UE police here. This is a real volatile situation. Please. Please. Let's see your ID. Recording the situation right now. Recording. I, I don't want to stop it. I want to record. Huh? What's up, guys? Welcome to 868 Media. This video is insane. Uh, I mean, as we all know, yesterday had a kidnapping on Yui. Thank God the um, young lady was found. Um, but I want to relay a very interesting. A um, little bit of a scenario that occurred yesterday on the campus of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. So I was in the library studying at around 3.30 and somebody came up to me and said, Hey, reported kidnapping, you're from 868 Media, um, right there at the North Gate. I think you should get down there. So I, I, I rushed down. I didn't have any gear on me. I didn't have my my microphone. I didn't have my tripod. I didn't have my I didn't have anything, nothing. All I had was my cell phone. So I go down there and I I see a lot of people, right? I noticed um, the first set of people I noticed was some people on top of the stairs, the Department of Geography. So I go up there and I talk to about three of them. One of them witnessed um, the kidnapping occur. Now, mind you, I was the first person, first media person there and no other media house was there as yet. I was the first one to have all the information as to um, what the witnesses saw, uh, what, they, what they heard, and all of that. I knew very early on that it was somebody dressed in police attire and army attire. That's why they were able to get out of the um, campus so easily. Also, the security wasn't really, they don't really check when you leave any campus anyway. I had all that information, and then there were apparently shots fired when the security tried to pursue the vehicle with the victim who was kidnapped but a shot was fired and then they got away so anyway a little very very uh, the, the first person on the scene was me i sent this video to the ue community group chat which is a student community group chat big up to all the people in that group chat but this is the video i sent to them all right so welcome to 868 media we here i um, just recording off my phone there has been a uh, alleged kidnapping in ue right here apparently the victim came down these stairs and was kidnapped right here. Right, right here. People saying um, that they saw the, 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 the car driving off. Apparently a silver hatchback. They didn't say which car. I assume it is a Tito though. And, um, and right there by that sign, people um, saw the, the victim's heels. A lady um, saw her heels outside. People heard one gunshot. Um, and there's just a bit of people outside. We could see the police are here and reports being made, etc. Right now, this is what's going on. We're seeing the admin down on that side. And this is what it is. Just the other day, we made a YouTube video, 868 Media, on if students feel safe. And this is what happens one week later. Incredible. Police on the scene, Jeep pull up. Understand? Now the, now the, now the campus security pulling up there. Incredible. Right here for people. Right here by the faculty. The Department of Geography. Right by the UE bookstore. Kidnapping. Share this video please. And get the word out there that UE not safe. So after that now, I am just there and I'm basically filming, you know, the situation and stuff. And I'm saying, hey, you know, I see the head of the, the, the security department there. Let me go and see if he has anything official on the scene. Because probably he already spoke to the same witness as I spoke to. Let me see what his verdict is. So I go to speak to him. He's like, I'm not going to talk to you. So I'm like, all right, who do I talk to? He's like, go and talk to the manager, the person in charge of communication. So I go to her and she's like, um, I'm not talking. It's a police matter. So I'm like, okay. Now I had already realized that they hadn't t spoken to anybody as yet. Um, it was really, really ridiculous because I was seeing some eyewitnesses leaving and stuff. And I'm like, yo, why don't you all go and talk to them? Anyway, I didn't say anything. So I got no official statements, but I had heard a lot from witnesses. What do you say? 
here with um, Alternative Media, 868 Media. We want to know exactly, like, if you'll have any official sort of statement as to what occurred. Any, any questions? You need to speak to the okay. communications department. Okay. Uh, just the right one on the that right All right, okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot. Hold the mic up. Right there, right there, right there. Hi. Good day, ma'am. We're here with um, Alternative Media 868 Media is the name of the um, brand. We just want to know if we could get any sort of official statement as to no, what we don't have an official statement yet. What, like, you'll know any kind of what occurred apparently? We Nothing? Any, we don't have any confirmed information at this okay. time. Matters being investigated mm -hmm. as soon as there is a statement. Mm -hmm. So nothing like no students' witnesses or anything like that? There are student witnesses, but of course that's, it's a police matter. Right. So, so the student yeah. witness, no student has made any official witness, any claim or anything as yet? Well, nothing we don't have like that. Not as a matter, as yeah. we have to leave it to the control of the police. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So all information has already been passed to them then? Okay. Right. Thanks a lot. Okay. So I'm standing up there and I'm just filming and then um, this happens. Hmm. Right there is where the kidnapping happened. Right coming down those steps there apparently. Right? So TV6. TV6. Getting bad up there. Huh? So. Yeah. You couldn't stand when you're saying it. Pardon? Put it down. I can't record? Put it down. Why can't record? Put it down. 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 Hey, hey, whoa. Just listen. Why are you being so disrespectful? Yo, yo, hey, you do yourself. I talk in this one. Where's your name? James Lance. That's students. You have your ID? Right there. I do. Listen to me. Constable Christian from the UV police here. Okay. This is a real volatile situation. Please. Please. Let's see your ID. Hello. Hello. So, as you could see, um, this estate police officer just wasn't having it with me just recording the actual environment of Yui, um, which I'm completely allowed to do no matter, nobody can tell you not to film in a public place. You are completely allowed to film in a public place. He's like, put it on, put it on, put it on. Then the police um, come after him, are trying to do the same thing to get me to put on my phone um and to turn it off it just goes crazy the police asking me to delete my video and stuff check it out recording the situation right now recording i i don't want to stop it i want to record huh? well I so this student was clearly frightened and especially he doesn't want to get like locked up or anything <laughs> but this is the only country where somebody's approached aggressively by a police and is told put your hands down the guy was very quick to just put his hands up to say listen i'm not doing anything violent and put your hands down hands down it's insane we're just we're just recording we're just recording just recording here you come here you come here you come here with the attitude see 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 so here I'm like sir 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 because there's also a police officer a male police officer on my left now he's trying to like somewhat grab my phone and um, get my phone and I'm like what I am fully allowed to film to to film this area there's nothing wrong and you can't take my, my my property unless you have reason to do so and he had no reason to do so so it was really really crazy so I admit that I'm a bit intimidated at this point you know I'm new to this sort of field so I did not really like film up and hold my phone up and like try to catch them and thing but I didn't stop recording and I think that was good I, I'm, I, this one recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. Delete it. This is my my phone. I'm recording on you. So she tells me delete it. Or I will take you all your phone and delete it. And I'm and, and I'm like what? And meanwhile, the other situation is is finished. Communications manager for you goes off with the um bystander and sort of de-escalates that situation with him and the estate police it was just really really crazy and and so let's let's continue I'm a student so i have to delete my video so i'm a police officer and i'm telling you to delete it how, how 
how does that how does that work in the law? Yes, law? yes, it is. I'm a media student. I'm recorded. Yeah, for, exactly. Show me ID right here. I'm a media student. My ID. You see, I'm a, I'm a media student just filming. Yeah, we're just me. I'm just a media student filming, practicing the field I'm studying. That's all. Okay. I came. Well, you see, recently we did a video where we asked students if they. So much other interesting things that have on the campus. Why you have to come here? So many other interesting things you could be filming. Number one bullshit. Feel safe on campus. 868 Media is the name of our channel. Yeah, but our right? We have videos pertaining to it. It's it's on YouTube, you can check it. 868 Media. So he's clearly just saying, you have any other videos pertaining to it? All he's trying to do is get my me to stop recording and to, to delete my video. It's really, really crazy. And you're seeing this in his body language all the time. Unfortunately, I don't have that. But he's 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 very, come on, let, let me see, let me see. And I'm like, hey, 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 it's on YouTube. Check it out. And and you actually hear my, my mic goes low because um, my hand is blocking it. And it, it was just crazy. No, I don't, I don't have it on my phone. It's, it's, on, it's on YouTube already. So I'm... And this is part of my field, so I just wanted to see what was going on and filming. I know a lot of students are concerned with the with the safety. There's a reported kidnapping, so I just came to sort of investigate the situation, see what's going on. So this is a bullshit claim. You do not need permission from the head of security to film with your smartphone on campus regardless of what the situation is. Especially if there's police on campus and there's a volatile situation going on, that is the time that students should pull out their smartphones and film in case anybody tries to do something stupid. That is a really really ridiculous. I, I don't understand how I need the permission from the head of the security to film with my smartphone. I'm not trying to be difficult, ma'am. I'm not trying to be difficult. You need permission to do it. You just can't do it just All right, I haven't filled it. I'm going to stop recording. All right? I'm going to stop recording. No, ma'am. So after I've admitted uh, and sort of given in um, just to de-escalate the situation, like, okay, I'm going to stop recording, right? Then uh, the communication manager is like, is everything okay over here? No, he is not complying. And of course they mean by I'm not complying that I'm not deleting my video. It's just absolutely insane. And the female police officer is continuously saying I'm, i'll go down a different road with him you know i'm like and and the way they speak is almost like they want to threaten you it's, it's, it's like i was just taping the whole situation that's all i don't understand how i'm doing anything wrong i'm a media student yeah he has my id right there okay so could we stop it now and could we because there's really nothing to tape right now i don't mind if i stop my video but I don't understand how I have to delete my video. I, I, I literally am just filming like this, this situation here. I think the general public, I haven't said anything like, oh, it's confirmed that X, Y, and Z. I haven't said anything like that. I'm just, just trying to manage the messages outside. Correct, there correct. I'm not, I'm not giving any confirmed information or anything. I already asked you if you had anything, so I could. So they're just trying to manage the messages out there. This is what the communications manager is now trying to tell me. Now, if you're trying to manage the messages out there, why not when I originally came to you and asked you if you have anything that I can say? She didn't give me any information, which is why I never said I had any confirmed information. But mind you, all of the information I had gathered from bystanders ended up being said, true. If they had any confirmed information, I would have said so. I didn't say that they had any confirmed information. I said, allegedly, there was a kidnapping that occurred. That's all that I heard. And I said that I heard it from a student from up there. This female police officer is clearly um, brain damaged or something because she tells me, what is your name? <laughs> this is ridiculous. The male officer hands her my ID so she could see my name. She grabs my ID, right? And she looks at it and she goes, she reads this, right? And she's like, student, student. <laughs> I don't know if she thought my name was student, but my name's right down there. You can't really see it, but it's right there. Uh, student, student, I will go down a different road with you. You need to delete that video right now. Ridiculous. 
I, I, I don't understand if I'm violation, violating okay, anything. I'm speaking on behalf of staff and the manager of communications here, right? We, unfortunately, given the nature of the mm-hmm. situation, we have to comply with the National Police because it's now a matter being dealt with by them. So it's outside of my jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. What I could do is, you know, ask you on behalf of them to please comply because, of yeah. course, it's a sensitive situation. We okay. don't want it to be a situation where it, it spirals out of control. Yeah. Understanding your responsibility, your student journalist, all of that. What I can do is take your information so that as soon as any confirmed statement is made, I can communicate same with you. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't said right? any, I haven't said anything regarding any situation. So you agree with that? You agree with what the lady's saying? I agree with what the lady's saying, but I haven't. I, I agree with that. I agree with that that I will comply, but I'm not going to delete my video if that's what you mean by comply. And that's why I was still in a bit of a protest to the whole situation. Said any? So, um, just, um, so this guy comes on his scene. Who is this guy? The marketing manager for Yui gets on his scene. You have a kidnapping that has just occurred. All right. Now, mind you, this is right after the kidnapping has occurred. No other media house was there. That's why no other media house. They would have taken pictures. You mean the media would have loved this. The estate police cannot handle the situation. The police cannot handle the situation. Marketing manager cannot handle the situation. So who comes to handle the situation? None other than the marketing manager of UE. I mean, what? This do- it doesn't make any sense. This is this is how our security is running right now. I, I don't get it. So he comes whilst he comes now up. Uh, Police vehicle pulls up. Now, this is like backup police for the scene or something like that. And they pull up to perhaps further investigate the very tragic situation that has just occurred. Somebody's just been kidnapped. And the first thing they do is pull up to the drama where a female police officer goes to him. You can't really hear it and starts to say, this guy is doing all these things and whatever. And he's not listening, not complying with the police, resisting. And I'm just there like, yo, I'm probably going to go probably gonna go down to the station today just for, for literally just recording the situation like so I'm, I'm i'm starting to get really worried now then it's just let's just continue watching it's about to finish could i please have my id sir you, you'll get it back you'll get it back that's okay. fine I don't understand, Jared. It's really crazy. Like, just recording a video. So, so um, you're going back here, Edika. Thank you. investigation going on, and we can only respect these parameters. So okay. With you, right? Okay. Thank you very much. So, the marketing manager, abs- knowing absolutely nothing about the situation, is like, uh, we have a investigation going on with kindly respect if you respect these parameters. So I'm like, um, all right, okay. Clearly he doesn't know that they want me to delete my video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step back, stop recording so I could keep my video, right? And I don't have to go down to no station or Because mind you, as I'm walking away, everybody's huddled around this police car and they're talking about me. And I'm just like, yo, there's a kidnapping that just occurred. And I didn't, I don't even know how come you're, you're, you're here talking to me, right? This is ridiculous. I mean, so I, I end the video there and um, yeah, I mean, it was insane. No problem. Thank you. It's, wow, wow. So afterwards, I managed to get a few words out of the, um, the bystander who's to my right who got in the altercation with the estate police. An estate police officer came to us with quite a, well, we, can, uh, we can say a, a very aggressive attitude. Um, you know, demanding that we shut off the recording and the, uh, shut off the recording, please, which is of course is against the law, by the way. And what did it do you? Just, I don't even know how to explain. What yeah, my occurred. boy head was hot here. The officer came. They had a front com- uh, confrontation. Uh, the lady, uh, I didn't guess her name. The head of communications for the University of Western the Santa Cruz in campus came in and, and dissolved the issue. Uh, and while we were dealing with your issue with state police, the officer went to my colleague yet again. And I don't know if you can remember anything he said to you because I could remember. Mm. He yeah. said, well, I, I remember him just saying, you know, don't, don't be so cocky with me. You know, you know uh, I believe the, the, the line. I saw your hands up. Yeah. I saw your hands yeah. up. You don't know, here we're going. He told me put my hands down. But like, I was just like, I don't want, I don't want to put my hands somewhere where you can't see it now. So I was just like, I just going to put it up. Because yeah. he was really aggressive then. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, 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 believe, like, I believe the line always used, don't F and play up yeah, with me. Of course, he didn't say F and I didn't really curse. And then he went on to tell my colleague that I'll see you 
around. So you actually sent him word? And I yeah. told him, I told him, well, yeah, I'm sure you'll see me around. Yeah. You know, but he, he said it like this, like this, like so, this way, like, uh, I like, I was like, I was a so threat. Sure. Yes. You understand? Yeah. I want to know if it's really legal for them to tell you to delete your video recordings or your audio recordings. Because they just come up aggressively to come and just say, all right, delete what you have, delete what you have. The police coming straight from the underground. A young got it back because I'm brown. With me because I'm a teenager. With a little bit of gold and a pager. Searching my car. Looking for the product. Thinking every nigga is selling narcotics.